Hello everyone, my name is Bethany and in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet some Gerber daisies and you're going to need two, uh, two colors of yarn and a g-hook, this is medium weight yarn. Um, the gauge doesn't matter too much so you can you can uh, use whatever yarn and, and tools you have on hand. Um, yours might be bigger or smaller but it will work. So I'm going to start with the, the center color I'm going to have my center be pink, and so we're going to start with a magic ring. And then chain one, and then a single crochet eight into the ring. There's eight, and then I'm going to pull the ring tight. And then this is worked. In continuous rounds, so I'm gonna start there on the first single crochet and work eight, into, or sorry, work two into that stitch. You're gonna work two in all each eight of the eight stitches all around, so that will bring your total to 16 stitches. Okay, and then I'm going to join with that first stitch just to close, finish off the round. And we're going to cut the end here. And now you're going to get your second color. So before you join, finish off this circle. So I'm just going to pull my end through and finish it like that. And so when you join your second color, you can join it anywhere. So pull it through and then work one stitch in each stitch around. So 16 total stitches with the new color. And then when you get back to the beginning, you're going to join with that first single crochet with a slip stitch. Okay. So now you're going to turn it so that the wrong side of the circle is facing you. And we're going to start working the petals. So you're going to chain seven. Single crochet into the second chain from the hook single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next chain, and then work a double crochet in the last three chains. So that is one petal, and so you this is the same stitch as what your, your chain is coming out of, so that's that's the same stitch. You're going to skip the next stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch. And that is one petal. So you're going to work that again seven more times until you have a total of eight petals. So to show you one more time, we're going to chain seven. We're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Single crochet into the next one, half double crochet into the next one, and then double crochet in the last three. And then this is the one I'm coming up out of, so you're going to skip that one and then work into that one single crochet into that next stitch. So repeat that six more times until you have a total of eight petals. Okay, so I have just finished my eighth petal. And you can see that it kind of looks like you have two stitches left. Um, that, for, that one is, it, 
It's not actually two because you've turned and it was like the join from before. So even though that looks like two to, to finish to finish the round, you want to slip stitch into the bottom of the first petal. Um, not a single crochet with a slip stitch into there and that will complete the round and have it have it look seamless there. Okay, so we're moving on to the second round. So when you when you skip those stitches, you'll have those stitches under each petal. So that is the, that is where we're going to be working in this round. So it's easier almost to just kind of fold the petals down like that and then you can kind of see the skipped ones. So we're we're going to make them off center. So what you're going to do is you're going to find that first that skip stitch um under that that for the petal of the first the first petal of the round. So you're going to slip stitch into that one. And that's where you're going to start the chain um, petal sequence. And it's a little bit different because we're actually going to chain six. So they're going to be slightly shorter than the other ones. So you're going to single crochet or into the second chain from the hook, half double crochet, and then three double crochet. So you're, you're only doing one single crochet on these petals. So there's your little shorty petal, and then you're going to slip stitch into the next skip stitch in the middle of the next petal. So in this round will be slip stitches, not single crochets. So we slip stitched in there, and then we're going to repeat it one, two, three, four, five, six. And then single crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next one, and then double crochet three times. And then you're going to find the next one, so that's petal number three, and the, slip and the skip stitch is right there. So slip stitch into that one. So you can see that when you're done, you have these, the long ones are on the bottom because you're going to flip it over when you're done. And then the short ones are on the top and they're um, in the middle. So it looks really nice. So you're going to work eight total of those as well. So we've worked two, make six more. So you go back and meet at the, at the beginning. Okay, so I have finished the eighth one. And I just wanted to show you in case you had questions. Um, just like the first one, you're gonna, you're gonna, there's no other like, like skip stitch, right? So just join in at the bottom of that first shorty petal. So just go down and uh, slip stitch and join it that way. So that completes the daisy. And so you want to clip your ends, weave them in, and then I highly suggest that you um, block your flower. Because you can see that it's just like so curly and you can't even really tell what it's supposed to be almost. So um, a really easy way is to just dampen it with a little spray bottle and then put it in wax paper or in um, foil, something to protect the book, and then put a heavy book on top of it and let it dry overnight. And it will, it will, it will be flat, like super flat when you f first pull it out. But then um, once it kind of gets a little more life into it, it will just sit really pretty with like the perfect little curl to each um, petal. So there you go. There is your crochet Gerber Daisy. Thank you so much for watching.